최고 Alright guys, welcome back. Today I'm way, way up in North Queensland. I'm up in the Daintree Rainforest and um, chasing some jungle perch and sooty grunner. I'm just walking along a little creek here and I've parked my car about four kilometres upstream. I've walked back down along the high banks and pretty much dropped into the river and I'm going to wander back up through. So I've got a little bit of a trek in front of me. I haven't fished this creek before and it looked really shallow on Google Earth so it's going to be very interesting to see if there's some fish in here. I dare say there will be. It's been a long time since I used this combo. That's my little 701 Dobbins Champion Extreme with a 2500 spin reel. I actually had to dust the cobwebs off it. That's got a P1 which is actually 16 pound Sunline Siglon and I'm running a 20 pound Sun, uh, Sunline uh, FC Rock leader with a little Gunfish 95. The water does look really shallow but it's actually quite deep it's just because of the clarity on it and this creek just snakes its way it's quite flat terrain so up the up into the valley there and as you can see it sort of bends and twists all through and on every bend you're going to have deep water so these fish like to sit in the little deep sections of the river and the big ones always sit up on the front side of your snag so basically that is up on your pressure edge and that sort of thing they'll, they'll sit right at the front the biggest ones will sit there because they'll get the first shot at the food it is quite cloudy and overcast today as you can probably see it has been raining a little bit and it's quite windy which i think should be ideal these fish like to feed on things that like bugs and stuff that have fallen out of the trees so i have gone for a bit of a natural color now i did have a little sneaky cast before i started filming and i tied on a g splash first and got absolutely roasted. I caught one fish and then lost the lure. So I'll put that here and then we're gonna start trekking up further from now. So enjoy. We'll start with a little Lucky Craft G-Splash. That's him there. I used this before for JPs and it's got a really cool action. I'll show you that soon, but I'm gonna rig it up with some uh, the Fang 662s. So there's gonna be some big sooties in here. So I think that I want to run something that's quite heavy, but not not heavy, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm going to run these because they're a nice fine gauge, but I'm not sacrificing too much strength. So I'm going to put these on with a little number three splitty. I haven't played with ones this small for a while, but we'll get there. I think these number eights will be just enough you shouldn't sacrifice too much action in the lure now very important with all lure fishing and i've said this before i'm going to say it again just make sure that little inline eye there runs pointing down so you've got the two nice points tucking up on the sides of your hook uh, on the sides of your lure what that does is just gives you a bit better hook exposure and yeah, better hookup rate. Definitely noticeably different in the hookup rate. So, I'm gonna pop that off, put him in the bag, and I'm gonna tie it on with just a basic loop knot. So, little granny, pull him tight through there, and run it up through your little granny knot. I just do one full rotation. Some people do three or four, but I don't think it's necessary. A little bit of spit so you don't get any heat and that friction from pulling it tight and trim that tag nice and short. Yeah, that's the, that's the lure there. I reckon that's gonna get eaten, 100%. Oh yeah. Going this way. A big bird. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> what have we got? Feels like a little JP. It is.
Oh, he's not bad size. He's a really nice one. usually pull more than one jungle perch up a snag but I will throw back in there because it does look really cool just cast a little bit upstream oh, what? oh no that was a sooty he's got me I'm going in for it <laughs> what did I say you don't catch two fish up a snag now, there are crocodiles in these creeks so you do have to be really careful it, I'm quite lucky because it's really really clean water I can see quite well I don't even know if the fish are still on here you don't really want to go in that deep water but it does look okay oh wow he's actually really towed me up that is very deep in there <laughs> Ah. Uh. Push through fallen trees. This is always the joy of fishing in the jungle where no one's really been. There's no tracks through here, so it's um can be interesting at times. And it's a little bit sketchy walking along these banks. I'm not so much scared of crocodiles, it's more cassowaries to be honest. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen if I stumble on one of them and I'm probably gonna freeze and not know what to do because I've seen a couple in the wild but not close and I've always been with someone else. So there's a, there was always a 50-50 chance on who got attacked but today it's just me so it's a little bit sketchy. <laughs> Next likely spot, got a big steep bank and a couple of sticks in the water there. So anything on a corner with some snags is definitely gonna have deeper water. I do have some polarized glasses on, but it's very difficult to see up against this, the reflection of that white bank and then the sun's in a really weird direction. And as you can probably tell, it's a very cloudy and yuck kind of day. So it doesn't make it ideal, but uh, I reckon up there there's definitely going to be a fish. I'm going to try and spot the first little pocket of deep water and get up in the headwater of it. So you, that means cast them right up on the front side of the hole because your bigger fish are always going to have the prime position, which is right up in the front. So they're the first ones to get the feed if something tasty comes downstream. Just up from that last spot, there's a huge big lay down. I can see the sh shadows of all the sooty swimming in it. Not really the biggest fan of sooties, just for how destructive they are on your tackle, but I'll take it. It's gonna bend the rod, pull drag, it's always fun. So I'm just gonna have a little peek over this ridge here and I'll show you what I'm talking about and then I'll set up for my cast. Whoop, whoop, I'm caught in the trees. Oh yeah. Okay, so have a look at that. That's prime zone. There's fish behind it, fish in front of it. You can see them, the water's that clean. It's awesome, so. Uh-oh. Get it moving fast. Just give them some urgency. Here they come. Oh, missed him. That's the little ones I was telling you about. This big lure just seems to evade them, which is awesome. Put another one in there. No. Maybe this lure is a little bit too big. Oh, yep, that's a good one. Oh, there's heaps of them there. They're fighting for it. Oh, I might have two on a lure. I do. Ugh. 
Uh, nah, I'll drop the other one off. There's one sitting on him. Don't know if you can see that. And that's what I mean about the big lure catching the better fish. That is a good quality JP. Oh yeah. That 95 mil lure isn't much of a challenge for a fish like that. They're very hungry. I'm gonna get him back real quick and we'll get some more. Oh. Have a look at this. What a place. That was awesome. Very excited to get access to this property. There's a lot of places that you can catch these sort of fish, but a lot of them are on private property, so it does pay to get access to these properties because coming in can um, bring in all sorts of stuff, weeds and pest species and plants and that sort of thing, which can do big damage to crops. So. I've had um, I've had a mate call up another mate who owns this farm and got access, so I'm 100% legal to be fishing here, which is quite rare these days. People come here and do the wrong things, and you know, one of my biggest things that I really like to mention to anyone who has property and lets me on is that I'm only going to leave footprints and take photos. So that's that's one of the things that you know that i think they respect that and you know it always you know you always get a better response if you ask first before you come on so Oh wow, oh I just got stitched up by Sooty, here he comes, <laughs> you got me again, I know where to take you, it's only a little tiny one too, little fish I'm gonna get the pliers because I've been done by these before they get a hook point in you and then they death roll get out now he's just holding the hook go on go and eat something else Water is actually a lot deeper than it looks. Oh, yep. Get out of here. <laughs> JP. Oh, another nice one. I'm gonna get over here out of the water. There he is. Check out my cool boots. Just sitting between my legs here. Come on, mate. Go for a swim. This isn't the spot to hang out. There he goes. Oh, straight away. Little tiny one. <laughs> oh, that's cool. He's not even that small. He's all right. I'll take him. There he goes. 
See you, mate. Very addictive and easy fishing. All right, another little snag. This one's got a good little undercut ledge on it and I can see a fish tucked in at the back side. I'm gonna target that front side first. Here he comes. Yep. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, I just got downgraded from a JP to a sooty. He stole the lure. Stay still, I'll get you out. Go on. Mm. We've got here. I'm gonna go for a little dark colour. Looks like something that just fell out of the tree, so I reckon that'll work. I'm gonna go a little number 10 uh, BKK fang there. That should be the right size for that lure. Might be a little bit big, but it's not gonna hurt it. Gonna be a lot nicer to cast this small lure with that light rod too that gunfish is just a slight bit too big for the rod yep. and very importantly have that rigged the right way You want him running up like that. It's perfect. All right. Basic little loot knot. That's him there. It's gonna get chewed. Make sure this cast and just get a feel for the lure before I get up into that really good looking zone. Won't surprise me at all if I pull something out of here though. Little Sammy's been around for over a decade, but she still catches a lot of fish. That action is awesome on these. And I think that color is a really good choice. Looks like a little bug or something. Oh, it's deep. The tea bag's going in. Woo! Oh, yeah. This snag looks good. I'm going to try and ping one right up in that little back dark section there. It's going to be very risky but if i can get it i'll get a fish and i'll put money on it you know when you're trying to shoot a cast down low like that that's i'm trying to get it right up in the back there so i'm going to kneel down get down nice and low and try and ping a real fast sharp one in there oh yep and tip wrap all right this is going to be interesting Almost. I'm under the log. Oh, up the tree. Come on. All right. I'm going for third time lucky. I might actually try and put it up on the right hand side of the pocket and let it drift in. No, I won't. I'll put it in the tree. No. No good. I blew that one. Oh, 
Oh, yep. And there it is. Small lure, small fish. That's what I was trying to avoid. Small fish are better than no fish. Uh, 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 uh. Just relax. I'll get you off. <laughs> All right. There's a couple in there that come out for that, so I will throw again. Not that I like my chances. Good cast. Oh, yeah, that was a bigger one. Yes. Oh, yep. That's the one I wanted. Oh, yep. <laughs> I don't know if you could see that, but that thing motored in on it. Come on, mate. Oh, that's a nice fish. They're only small, but it's very, very aggressive. This snag should have a fish on it. I'm gonna have a little cast up on this front side here first, and then I'll put one in deep. Oh, here they come. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just relax, mate. You can go back in a second. <sighs> Nice little fish. Get him unhooked in the water here. He's gone. There he is there. No. It's the smallest fish in the river. An upgrade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a bit better. A little bit. Nice little one. Can't tell me there's not a fish in there. Impossible. Nice high cast and pull it up short. A lot of the time, if you get a good landing, you'll catch a fish. It's probably just as important as a retrieve with these things because they're eating things that have fallen out of the tree. So high landing, stop the lure so it lands naturally. And then start your retrieve. There's a big fish shadow on that. Mm. Smart ones. Oh man, he come from miles out. <laughs> that was cool. That was really cool. He's a good fish too. Oh, 
Oh, you can see how they use their body weight and that current just to hold off from you. Here he comes. He's the biggest one for the day. Oh, yes, he is. Come on, mate. I'll have you back in no time. <laughs> there he is. It's the biggest one for the day so far. You can see that big bucket mouth. He wasn't mucking around with that little lure. Yeah. He's probably only about 35 centimetres, but he was really holding out in that current, using his body weight, just sitting sideways just to fight and try and resist coming in, but you get that lure out of him and get him back in the water. <laughs> oh wow. <well. laughs> so you catch a khaki grunner. <laughs> he is green as it's got plucked straight out of the water. You can tell the car key is different. They've got the pointier head and a lot smaller mouth. There's a big JP. He's come out twice now, so I might give it one more cast. I don't think he's going to play. Not a bad one. Not bad at all. Whoa. Nice little JP. Completely missed it. Should come back. <laughs> it has to be a sooty the way this thing's going. Oh. No. Sooty? Yep, sooty.
Come on. Have a proper go, mate. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but in the middle of the creek up here is a big cassowary just walking across. You're looking straight at me. JP Cassowary. Looking straight at me, wondering what's going on. He's holding his ground.
All right, guys, that's me. That was the last fish for the day. I've walked a fair way past my car, so I have to turn around and go back. And um, it's 2.30, so I've fished for just over four hours, so four hours, 15 minutes. Probably caught about 20 fish, which isn't too bad. There's a fair few decent ones in there. No absolute monsters, but they were, they're pretty decent fish. If you catch anything over 35 centimeters in my book, it's a, it's a really good fish, so. I'm gonna start making the trek back before it gets too late. I've probably got about an hour, hour and a half to get back to the car, so it's a fair hike. By the time I get back, it'll be getting a bit late, and even just this bit of cloud sort of, it's getting me a bit worried. I don't want it to get too dark while I'm out here. I know when it gets late, you get dingoes and pigs and all that sort of thing in places like this, so. I'm gonna start making the trek, but yeah, thanks for watching. While you're here, hit that subscribe button, and, uh, Stay tuned, new videos every Thursday. Thanks for watching.